While designing a particular system, there are two types of designs that we might go through. One is logic designing and the other one is physical designing. So what is the difference between these two, logical designing and physical designing? Well, my name is Rishi Ranju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community and I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What is the difference between logical designing and physical designing? Well, what's my out. So, let us understand the difference between a logical design and a physical design with the help of a simple example. So, let us assume that I am going to design a particular chip. So, for me to design a particular chip, there are two things that I must go through. First thing is the fact that I should know what function this particular chip performs. Once I know what function this particular chip performs, then I could just simply implement that particular chip. Let me make that simple for you. So let us assume that I want to perform this particular function with a particular chip. That is, I need two AND gates like this. And this particular AND gate is given to an OR gate. And here we get an output like this. So here there are one, two, three, four, four inputs over here. And here that is just one output. So this is the function that I require for a particular chip to perform. So let us assume that this is the function that I require a particular chip to perform. This simply is what you refer to as the logical design. That is, it just describes the general functional capabilities of a particular system. Here, we make a logical design with the help of diagrams, charts, etc. Here, I have represented the logical design using gates. These two are AND gates and this is an OR gate. And now, the next procedure that I do is, once I have a logical design, now I need to know how I can implement this logical design on a physical chip. So here, I might take, say, a field programmable gate array, and now I might program this particular FPGA with the help of hardware descriptive languages so as to obtain this particular thing. So now here, I take a particular physical FPGA and now I program this particular FPGA so that it takes four inputs like this and gives one output like this. That is the physical designing. Here, it describes how a particular system, a particular proposed system, will deliver the capabilities that are specified in this particular logical design. Here, it specifies the number of outputs or number of inputs that are required, the storage, the processing capability, the GPU, etc, etc, etc. How we implement this particular logical design on a physical device? That is simply what we refer to as physical designing. So this over here, this is the example in the case of VLSI. Let us take a real world example. Let us take the example of constructing a house. So here, when I'm, let's imagine that I'm going to construct a house. So the first thing is a logical design. So logically, I'd be thinking, okay, fine. I need a bedroom. I need a bedroom with an attached bathroom. The bedroom must have a balcony. A ba the balconies must have, like it must be facing towards the west of my particular house. So these are all the logical designs. So here, I know that I need a bedroom. I know that I need at least two living rooms. I, knew, I know that I need a home theater setup. I know, maybe, let, let's imagine that I know that I need a swimming pool. But all these are just logical things that I know. All these are logical designs. I'm logically just designing it. The next step is physically implementing all these. So for us to physically implement all these logical designs, what I do is I now approach an architect and I tell him all these are my designs, all these are my logical designs, all these are my requirements. And this particular architect would now come and he would draw a physical design incorporating all these things. As simple as that, guys. This is, is simply the difference between a logical design and a physical design. As simple as that, there's nothing more to it. This thus is simply the difference between a logical design and a physical design. As simple as that, guys. There's nothing more to it. So, I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what the difference is between a logical design and a physical design. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So, stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.